Did you just get a new Mac and you want to change the functionality of your touch bar and you don't know how to do it? As a video editor, I don't find the default setting very helpful. Because I use a lot of shortcuts in Premiere Pro, I want my touch bar to be set up in a different way. I'll show you how to do it, how to change it, adjust it to your needs, and you subscribe to my channel. And also check out the thanks button under this video. By default, you have controls in your touch bar. So basically, you see my changed layout. The first layout I have changed is to put F1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So I don't have any controls right now. If I want to see my controls on the touch bar, what I have to do, I have to press and hold FN button, and now I have a control. So now I can control, I can mute this, I can increase, decrease volume, I can play, I can adjust the brightness, and so on, take a screenshot. So how to do it? If you go on your Mac, icon about this Mac under, you have system preferences. You click on system preferences and then you go to keyboard. So double click on keyboard and you have all these options for touch bar. So the first thing is touch bar shows F1, F2, etc. like me, or do you want to show quick actions? This is what happens. And then you have to click. And then if I switch to spaces, now I have desktop one, desktop two next to it. Okay. You can adjust anything on your touch bar. So you can also add stuff to it. On the right, you have controls. And then on the left, you can start adding things. So let me just go expanded control strip. And the last option is app controls. Okay. So whatever app you're on, you're going to see the controls. And of course, the basic controls stay. So for me, I like to do F1, F2 and so on, because these are my Premiere Pro shortcuts that I use. And then press FN key to do, and you have a couple of options, right? But what I like to do is press and hold because I don't want to press it by accident and switch it. So I want to do press and hold and my F2. So I'll show you what it does. If I hold, press and hold, my touch bar is now showing controls. Okay, so I can control my Mac as I showed you before. So if you go and click on customize control strip, this is the coolest feature, okay? Because you can literally drag on the touch bar. So I'm going with my mouse right now and I am literally on my touch bar. And then if I, on my touch pad, go up, I'm going up with my cursor. So basically, if I don't want Siri for my in my touch bar, I'm going to click on it and drag it up, you see? And then I can add something else to it. So what I like to do, you know, I have thing that you want to add, mission control, spotlight. Um, you can just drag it up and then replace this. So I'm going to do like night shift. Let's put night shift here. And I'm going to take this one out. Okay. So if I'm happy with this, I'm going to click done. And this is it. So I press FN and now I have, okay, my new feature enable night shift. Ooh, brilliant. Use, you also have the option use F1, F2, etc. Keys and standard fact functions, keys on external keyboards, um, and so on. So basically, this is literally, if you don't have numeric keyboard, the full one, you can enable this. Close it, done and dust it and customize it to your needs. And again, if you like this video, if you have found it helpful, subscribe, check out the thanks button and you can also follow me on social media. You can see it right here. I'll see you next time.